Today we're talking about my favorite handsome space boy. Which one's that? That's, you use that for like anything that you like. No, Poe is my favorite handsome space boy. Well, you just spoiled it. This week on the Star Wars Show, we go behind the scenes of the Star Wars Cases Mission Patch, Matt Lieb takes on Force Friday 2, and much, much more. Now, from the Lucasfilm headquarters, it's the Star Wars Show. Hi, I'm Anthony Carboni. And I'm Andy Gutierrez, and welcome to the Star Wars Show, the only Star Wars show on the internet whose production assistant has a tattoo of a porg on their leg. Now that's dedication. Let's go to the news. Star Wars Rebels released a new trailer for the fourth and final season of the series over the weekend. Are you okay? I'll make it. Okay. <laughs> the Space Wolf filled trailer gave us glimpses at Thrawn's right hand man Rook, Saw Gerrera, Mon Mothma, Tarkin dropping some Rogue One references, the Empire vaporizing Mandalorians, and space battles with X-Wing. Pew pew! But I didn't see a Space Wolf in an X-Wing. I'm just, I don't, I'm just saying. Think about it. The fourth season of Star Wars Rebels airs on October 16th on Disney XD. Empire Magazine rolled out some new Star Wars The Last Jedi covers this week. The first features Rey and Luke posing back to back looking oh so serious, while the other is a close up of Rey handing Luke his long lost lightsaber, which also gives us a closer look at his prosthetic robotic hand. Also revealed inside the issue is a glimpse of perfect space boy Poe Dameron's X-Wing. The Incom Frytech T-70 has been modded with a temporary accelerator pod that allows him to outrun the First Order. So take that! Fast and Furious movies, Star Wars is also about speed and family. The issue also contains an additional image of Canto Bite, which shows Finn and Rose facing each other in the middle of a casino filled with fancy looking aliens and creatures like this cute little space dog. The October issue of Empire Magazine hits store shelves tomorrow. The International Space Station National Lab has unveiled its 2017 Casus mission patch. And wouldn't you know it? This year, it's Star Wars themed. The patch was art directed by Lucasfilm's own Doug Chang, as well as designers from Everly Design Company. In fact, in just a few minutes, we'll take a deeper dive into the creation of the patch, because that's what we like doing around here. Star Wars Galactic Nights, an event we both participated in back in April, is returning to Disney's Hollywood Studios on December 16th. The event will offer fans an inside look at the upcoming Star Wars Galaxy's Edge during an exclusive one night only panel, as well as offering photo ops, character encounters, fireworks, Star Wars themed food, and costumes. Lots and lots of costumes. Tickets for the event are on sale now. And if you want more information, check out DisneyWorld.com slash Galactic Nights. Finally, last Friday was Force Friday 2, where a metric ton of new Star Wars products were revealed. We're talking new toys from Sphero, like the new BB-9E, or BB-8, as Ryan Johnson calls He's it. A mean boy. <laughs> the massive LEGO Millennium Falcon model with 7,541 bricks, tons of new books like Phasma and Leia, and Porgs! So many! Porgs. And because Force Friday 2 was such a big event, we sent our resident event correspondent, Matt Lieb, to check out all the craziness and excitement of Force Friday 2 in a segment paid for by Walmart. Who's watching the Star Wars show? Hey everyone, Matt Lieb here. It's Force Friday, so naturally I'm at Walmart because Walmart has all the gear that you need to be Jedi ready. So let's go check it out. Oh. oh yes. Thai silencer. Look how sharp it looks. Would you consider yourself Jedi ready? Maybe not. Well, that's why we're here today. Hey, how's it going, R2? Here we have the Little Bit Stride Inventor Kit where you can create your own droid. Be my friend. No, don't turn your back on me. So you built this yourself? I did. You're like Anakin Skywalker. It's like having a pet that you don't have to feed. Oh, this has got force link. You can actually move around the lightsaber. Turns out the force is actually just Bluetooth technology. What kind of toy are you really excited to get? Probably the figures. I don't have the Luke Skywalker or Ray one yet. Are you independently wealthy or do you have a parental unit that gives you money for things? Parental unit. Yeah, same. What kind of toy are you hoping to get? Like a Lego set or something? You want to get a lit? You just looked at your mom like, please. What do you hope to get here today at Walmart? Are you Jedi ready? Ooh, BB-8. You can open him up. Whoa! Authentic BB-8 sound effects. I don't want any of that knockoff BB-8 sound. I'm here with Master David. You are a Jedi trainer. You teach people the art of wielding a lightsaber. It's from a very young age. It's 32 young? Um, well. So we got here the Ray Forces of Destiny doll. You like Ray? Yes. What do you think's in her pack? Sticks and tools. Cell phone. Well, I mean, everyone's got to have a cell phone. Not a stick. 
Star Wars world. Well, we've seen a lot of amazing things here at Walmart for Force Friday. I'm finally Jedi ready. And me and this guy, I think we're going to be best friends. Come on, let's go, Praetorian Guard. Look at him, he's heading for that small moon. That's no moon. Growing up, I was always a huge fan of science and space. And if I wasn't in the film business designing for movies, I would hopefully be working for NASA. There is a long pronounced history with mission patches, both from the aviation industry as well as the aeronautics industry. Traditionally, for NASA related patches, the astronauts themselves have been designing those patches for years. But at the ISS National Laboratory, we try to collaborate with unique partners to help develop these patches that are representative of all ISS National Lab research during a given calendar year. And who better to collaborate with than Lucasfilm? In designing the, the patch, I had to bring in the best designers that I could uh, you know, think of, and that's Kelly and Stacy of Everly Design. He asked us, hey, would you guys be interested in working on this project? And our eyes were just like, yes. I actually first worked with them on early designs of the Rogue One title. It was a great opportunity for the three of us to work together again. The first step was to figure out, okay, what are the iconic moments or imagery that we want to merge with the space station? In particular, there is this one scene on Tatooine. They have that beautiful sunset. We took elements of that and derived our colors for the final piece. Doug's creative vision was to try to include some of the droids that have been involved in the Star Wars franchise in this mission patch. And so the obvious choice was, okay, let's design it around the new robots like BB-8 and Chopper and K-2. And that is also very symbiotic of the ISS because the ISS is all about enhancing technology. That captured everything about the space program for me. It talked about the future, it talked about the adventure, the longing for the adventure. Our job as graphic designers is to simplify things and you know in this challenge we had to take something that is an entire Star Wars universe and then also the world and blend those two worlds together. The final design encompassed the Millennium Falcon the Death Star and these droids. The droids look out into this vast space of discovery and exploration. We felt like that created a wonderment that we can relate to by looking out at the stars. The final design of the patch, I think, is a perfect combination of everything that we we're trying to achieve. This mission patch with Lucasfilm, it really helps to represent a banner year for CASIS and the ISS National Lab as a whole in 2017. We've already had well over 100 experiments launched to the ISS National Lab, representing a myriad of scientific disciplines, from life sciences, Earth observation, remote sensing, material sciences, physical sciences, technology development, STEM and STEAM education. The ISS National Lab is truly a platform for innovation and to be able to have this collaboration with such a recognizable brand is going to bring that research to the forefront even more so. I'm Mark, I'm the author of Star Wars Kirigami, which is part of the Journey to the Last Jedi series. Kirigami is a little bit like origami, except instead of just folding the paper, you cut and fold the paper. Each project in the book has a difficulty rating, so the X-Wing is a good starting point if you're new to Kirigami, and I've brought that template with me today to show you exactly what Kirigami is. So when you get to the end, push everything flat and pop it up. And that is a Kirigami X-Wing. And so ends another fun-filled episode of The Star Wars Show. And like we do every week or every other week or weeks where we need to pad out the time, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and download the Star Wars app. And you have to do them all because we can tell if you miss one. Mm -hmm. We can feel it and yeah. it feels wrong. There's like a checklist. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll put it online later. Thanks for watching, and as always, may the force be with you. It's like a princess and the peas situation, but with social networks, if somebody doesn't subscribe to us, I can just, I can't sleep. You're a sensitive boy. I really am. I'm like the Kylo Ren of internet video. I don't see anything on that screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Pre-retaped? Pre-retaped. We are gonna mess this up.